Welcome back to the second quarter. GDFL round one here at the Devils Playground. Corio 3-2-20 lead. Werribee Central's 3-1-19. And with the aid of a 3-4 uh, to four goal breeze, we think to the right of screen. And Corio have that. And at the GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. So uh, the coaches, well, uh, I would have thought uh, Ray Robertson pretty happy with the youngsters, Ronnie. Oh, absolutely delighted, uh, Jason. Very pleased with their commitment at the ball, their team spirit, their running. And, uh, yeah, all in all, very pleased and just uh, emphasised to the players not to relax and maintain the standard that they'd set in that first quarter. And the wind won't do it for them. They've got to do it themselves. In the other camp, well, the Mick uh, Foster, Werribee Central's coach, he suggested to his players that they can win the game with some real G and D, desperate football will win the game. So I'd suggest that in the second quarter, it uh, will be a very interesting one just to see how well Werribee can defend this Corio Devil machine. We see Andrew Hawks and Edgar and Johnson in the centre with Brett and Vilchins for Werribee. Robertson, uh, Cullen, Cousins and O'Toole in the middle as the umpire puts it down. Robertson gets the tap down towards centre half forward. Gareth Buck runs into his own player there. Barry Delaney, Mick O'Toole's got a chance. Side steps beautifully. Left foot kick long. Great kick too. And O'Toole leads out from full forward and takes a great mark in front of Lance Mews there. Great play from Mick O'Toole once again. I'd go as far as to say that was premiership football bursting out of the centre and splitting a worm burner, as I would call it, a left foot drop punt pass. It got no f higher than two and a half foot off the ground and hit Mark O'Toole right on the chest. It's good to see you've changed your premiership flag favourite again. Only a quarter into the game. O'Toole comes in left boot. No hassle for the full forward there, Mark O'Toole. For one behind. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the Peter McKenna there. I've whistled it through for a goal and it's been a point, so he's kicked two goals too. Just missed to the far side there. Well, and uh, Ronnie, off the Bannockburn bandwagon already and on to Corio's 30 minutes into the GDFL season. Good to see you again, Brian Man. Yeah, they've, uh, they've <laughs> done very well so far. Very impressed with the Devils. Galaka kicks out from full back looking for Vilchens. Robertson comes over the back and taps it further afield. Great play because sitting there is Cullen. He gets wrapped up. In fact, it's Stewart who's on the ground. He gets it out towards Boyle. He pushes it around with his right boot. In front of this time is Muse. In front of O'Toole, he kicks across the goal face. Dangerous, but he has got the numbers. Galeaka, Morley there. Galeaka, Shepherds for Morley. Left foot kick around the corner, back towards half back. Ruck leads in the race for the ball. Sits, Davey, left hand hand ball. Ruck's going to get wrapped up. He's got support there. Stewart holding the ball though. Great tackle. Yeah, great tackle. Morley, he's going to take the free kick. Been very busy for the he has. central side as Justin Morley. Left foot kick now from half. Half back, a nice one. Looks up there, but oh, there's no one home because Gareth Buck was led under the footy, and uh, really, I thought that uh, that looked like the eggshell there should have marked that one, but uh, couldn't get both hands around the footy. No, it was Paul Smith. And it's off his hands, out of bounds. Vilchens and Robertson. Robertson in front this time. Doesn't get an effective tap away. Vilchens gets it at the second attempt. Up towards Laddick has to sit and wait. Mossed it over the back. If he can uh, pick the ball up, he can't do so. But he does get a free kick. He was on the ground. Got one high. He's going to come across towards the commentary box side. Looking for Boyle. Over the back. Great mark. Oh, no. Not quite Baker. He's held on there to Greg Hardy. He's got support in Scott. It's at centre half forward now. Shelley just tries to give it to Aiken. Now oh, Doby. Doby right foot kick long. Two on one here. Should be able to mark and has done so. And uh, you, I think you'll find that that is Rick Govan on the ground. And he's taken the mark. He's got a Werribee player in the goal square by himself. He had to turn around a bit earlier, but he's pretty confident in himself that he can turn around and kick the goal. So a chance for Werribee to hit the front against the breeze in this second quarter. Although, uh, just looking at the, at the trees up the, to the end that Rick Govan is kicking and has dropped markedly. Oh, poor kick off the boot. Is it going to get through? I think it might have. It has done so, but it was a pretty poor kick off the boot by Govan, but he's got it through. It doesn't matter how you get him through. So that is Werribee's fourth goal. They're currently 4-1-25, Corio 3-3-21. Four points of difference. And that is the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. And again, Ron Brain, you've done it. You've got it up there. Great to see. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, we're only about three and a half, four minutes gone of this second quarter. And uh, straight away, Werribee answered the challenge that Mickey Foster, the coach, gave them at quarter time. And he'd be very pleased with that effort of Rick Gavin. Back in the centre now. Vilchens has to go up against uh, O'Toole there. Greg Hart has got the ball. Vilchens will be over the top of it. Dave Cousins is there also. Great play from Cousins there. Gets it out to Smith. Is wrapped up by Edgar. Gets the ball a further afield though. To Baker. He's going to be wrapped up this time. That should be holding the ball. No free kick. It's high. It's at centre half forward for Cryo. Tapped up again by Ruck. 
Cullen's out there also. Buck, handball to the running memory. Poor kick off the boot, though, by him under pressure from Carayo. Where be the numbers? Morley runs back into the pack, gets around. Handball back. Oh, Ed Gary's mucking around without a half back. He's on hands and knees. He gets it to Morley now, who turns around, kicks it straight to Paul Baker at centre half forward. He's got Philip Boyle on his outside. He should handball. He gets inside. He has to sit and wait. Now he does on the second attempt. Boyle at 50. Long kick, right boot. It goes. I think he might have just. Oh, he's hit the post. It was a close call. And Phil Ball's first point of the day, first score of the day. So Karaya go on to 3-4-22. And Werribee Central's 4-1-25. Three points of difference. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. As we see Galaka kick out, grandstand side looking for Vilchens. Three on one. And he still nearly takes the mark. Robertson gets it though, plucks it out of the pack, gives it to Smith. He kicks it up towards Stewart. And also Nichols running through. He's got support there if he can get it out. He does so now. Push through. Lee overruns it, turns around, kick off the boot. It's going to miss to the near side. And uh, that was Dave Nichols, it was. So peppering the goals at the moment, Karai, but just can't get the major that they're looking for. 23 plays 25. Junior FL Bingo set a second quarter scoreboard. We've been going five minutes uh, of this round one Junior FL footy match of the day. For 96 is the ball brought back into play oh, now by Galauka. And a screamer has been taken at centre half back. And by one of the smallest boys on the ground, the Ruck Rover, Scotty Johnson. Johnson now, short little kick again to Greg Hart. Sits and waits, handballs the Hawks, telegraphs that handball, but it's okay. Gets it further afield to Edgar running through the middle. Skipper Barry Delaney. Oh, he looked up before he had the ball. He's going to be under pressure now. Edgar goes back to help him. Oh, great bustling play from Mick O'Toole. Yeah. Oh, he's paid holding the ball. Jeez, he only had it for a second. Oh, umpire Noel Fanning's up here in the box with us now, and he's told us that it's holding the ball. Gee whiz, he's got to have the ball a bit longer than that, but Scotty Johnson's going to take the free kick. Long bomb, he goes up there to the teeth of goal. Over the top, Govan. He couldn't take the footy. Now, Cockrell works hard there at back pocket. Good football from the youngster. Sees it over the line and out of bounds. About 25 metres from the Werribee Central goal, who at the present time of the GDFL... Bingo in a second quarter the scoreboard. They lead 4 1 25. Carrillo 3 5 23. Two points the margin. Junior Fell footy on guest FM. Robertson plucks it out of the ruck, gets it to the leader of the band at half back. He comes out towards Cullen. Vilchens is there, should be able to take the mark. He does so at half forward. Handball quickly to Johnson, who's been influential in the first stage of this second quarter. Long towards Govan, sitting in front there was Mostert. Can't take it. Good recovery though. Darren Bennett left foot kick back to whence it came. Memory takes the mark at centre half forward. Plays on quickly. Edgar's there. Tries to give a handball away, then goes with his left boot. Long towards Govan. He's got three or four against him. Robertson comes from the back. Good raving by Spicer at the front of the pack. O'Toole has to sit and wait. Oh, good mark. The skipper takes a great mark there in front of uh, Andrew Scott. A lot of in, courage shown yeah, there in the by back the pocket. skipper. Looting the example here this afternoon. Mickey O'Toole, left foot kick to centre half foot. Attacking footy to Cullen. A long sweeping hand pass to the run of Paul Smith. No, it's Danny Ruck. Oh, Jingos, I wish they'd dye their hair because they all look like twins out here. Fair dinkum as Galauka now clears the football from uh, the back pocket for the centrals. Out to the members' side, half forward. But oh, oh the Baker boy, who can make the difference? <laughs> I tell you, over the top he goes. O'Toole looks at the goal. Oh, it's off hand. And it's true for a minor score. Great, great football. Great football from Cry there. The youngsters again doing the damage across midfield, but can only put it through for a behind. Mickey Glauca to kick out again. He's going to get a sore foot if he keeps kicking out all day. He gets it out towards Greg Hart, Vilchens, and also Johnson and halfback. Johnson gets a kick away. Oh, poor kick though. Who's looking for Hawks. Went too far. And the leader of the band, McNamara, takes it. Gets shepherded from O'Toole. Left foot kick. Short has to sit and wait. And does so is Ashley Davey. He takes the mark. And the assistant coach out here at the Devils Playground this year will kick from 35 out directly in front. And hopefully we'll be able to put Karai's first goal on the board for this second quarter. They're currently 3-6-24. Werribee Central's a 4-1-25. Only a point in it. So Karai can take the lead if Davey can put the ball through the middle. Well, Ashley Davey, a picture of fitness. They tell me fittest he's ever been. So I suggest Great he'll kick. have a big season in 96. And has fit the woodwork here at the Shell Reserve. Uh, Ashley Davey opens his account. Kicks his first. And Karai... Uh, Cryo R4630. And they're going to take the lead now from Werribee Central's 4 1 25. Five points of difference on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. We've been going 10 minutes in this second quarter. Don't forget to give the old GDFL Bingo Centre 
Ian Curley O'Donnell out there on 218484 because I tell you what, it's pretty hard to get a seat out there at that lovely White Eagle House where the GDFL Vingo Centre happens. Back in the middle now, Vilchins has to sit and wait. Robinson comes, gets a tap down towards O'Toole. Matthew Cullen again in the middle. Ruck, handball further afield towards centre half forward. Coming at it though, James Lee can put it out towards Hawks. Has to sit and wait. Oh, he heard footsteps. Ball came at him. Dave Cousins in over the, the top. Also in there, Baker. Dave Cousins again. Free kick too high. Good play from Cousins there. And he will take the free kick at half forward. Umpire Noel Fanning reckons he's ducked the head. Special comments from Fano and he hasn't even got the head set on. He's only been here two minutes. He's upset me already. Cousins left foot kick long. Vilchin's back. Sits and waits over the back of the pack. Muse. He's got it now. Goes grandstand side. Right foot towards Delaney. One on one with Ruck. It's probably going to beat both players out. It is going to. And a boundary throw in on the wing position. Yeah, lovely clearing kick there too by that dashing defender for the centrals in Lance Muse. And uh, the ball now is at half forward. Carayo into attack. Members side of Shell Reserve. Robertson in front. Good work there to Paul Smith. He's left foot quick kick though. A short one. And in front I think you'll find is Greg Hart for the Centrals. Who brings it right across ground. Goes to half back to Membry. Left foot kick by him up towards centre half forward. Oh Scott up. Great mark. Andrew Scott had the ride there. Took a good mark. Quick handball to uh, Morley running off half back. Short little kick by him is good because Spicer has led. In front of Cockrell takes the mark. In between half forward and forward pocket, right, long right foot kick. Sitting there, Luddick gets pulled off the ball. No free kick. Cry defence has been miserly today. Over the top, Collinson. Numbers there, O'Toole. Collinson gets the ball back, wrapped up by Robinson. It is going to be out of bounds now. And a boundary throw in about 30 metres around from the Werribee Central's goal. Luke Luddick can think himself a little unlucky. I thought could have been held there in that uh, aerial contest with his Karaya defender, but the ball's in the forward pocket now. Central's into attack, but not for long if Mickey O'Toole can do anything about it. But he was well collared. Pack of players form and umpire in camera. Do this, Ed. Give it to me, fellas. With a bounce down about 35 metres from the Werribee Central goal. Time check shows 12 minutes gone in the second quarter, and we've got a ball game. Karaya lead by five points. Bounce down. Allows now Mickey O'Toole, who's been dominant in the middle. Directing traffic there. Quick hands to the leader of the band. But they got a bit fancy, Carayo, at that stage. Because now the Centrals have stolen the footy and go to the pocket. Looks for, uh, oh, that could have been Collinson. Hand pass, a poor one. Uh, and some fine defensive football there by, I think you'll find it, looks like Darren Bennett, who's been promoted from the reserves last season. And he rushes it through for a minor score to the Werribee Central side. So where are we? 4 2 26. Trail cry 4 6 30. Kick out. Mostert is under pressure. Numbers there for Werribee. Doby runs onto the ball. Good play though by Shelley. Mostert's back there also. Darren Aiken straight through the pack. Ruck running against the play. Right foot kick up towards the wing position. Sitting and waiting. Greg Hart takes the mark in front of Cullen. He's got Morley running past. He elects to go longer. The lead from Govan. Shelley behind. Punches away. Cockrell comes at it. He man Spicer run over the ball. Membry can't get the ball away from the pack. Pack does develop now over the top of him. And umpire Duthie will come in and bounce the ball. Yes, uh, time clock just ticking along. About uh, 14 minutes. Of the second quarter here at the Shell Reserve. Judy FL, round one match of the day on 94.9. Guest FM is the best FM. And leaders in country footy as the kick from defence now finds Vilsons. Uh, the big... Uh, Ruckman from the Centrals, chips it over to Collinson. He mucked around with it a fair bit. Kicks around the corner, looks up the ground for his team, but he traps it in Rick Govan. His hand pass, though, was a poor one. But I think you'll find there's been a free kick picked out here by uh, umpire Dirty in that pocket. And it looks like it's going to the way of Luke Luddick. He's going to be kicking for right on the boundary line in the dead pocket here at the Devil's Playground. So it's going to be a pretty tight kick. He's looking for a lead. He goes backwards, in fact, and goes to Scotty Johnson. So he's going to be kicking from about 35 out. Hawks makes a lead for him. He ignores that. It'll still be a fair kick from there to put the Centrals back in front in his second quarter. He comes in now, puts it up to the teeth of goal. It sits and waits. Robinson from behind, taps it away. Cullen in front. Membry, Shelley straight at the ball all the way. Leaves the ball. Hawks 
He leaves it also. Membry gets a handball out towards Scott. He's going to be wrapped up. In fact, he's tackled by Cousins over the top. Dave Cousins, good play from him. He gets the ball towards Aiken. Aiken, short, cut off by Edgar. Still tapped out, though, and they've got the numbers now. The Devils ruck. He can run along. He gets shepherded by Davey. Now he leaves him. Right foot kick is sensational. Gets it towards Baker. Now they've got the numbers. Davey running on the outside. He gives him the ball. They can set it up for O'Toole here. He goes long towards Stewart now. Stewart on the top. Matt Galaka over the back. Centrals, they're all there now. They're going to have the numbers and relieve the pressure. Greg Hart in the last line defence goes to look further afield towards Morley. Good play, though, by Ball to put the pressure on. He might have been able to get the ball. No, it's just going to be kept in play. Boundary throw in. In fact, he's called it out of bounds on the full. <laughs> I think the uh, spectator um, there... Valenti but... didn't know much about that. No, he did not. And, uh, well, the Devils don't like as They go to attack. Baker, the high flyer, back in the back. Couldn't take it. Ball spells. Oh. Camero Tool has been well collared. Great tackle, Robbie Edgar. And he will get the free kick in the left-back pocket for the Centrals. Umpire Armstrong just coming in, settling O'Toole down. And uh, Edgar now goes right across goal. Finds Vicky Galauka in the other... Oh, here we go. Lovely kick, two finds the lady. The skipper for the Centrals plays on. Left foot kick, a goodie, and finds Scott Johnson in the centre of the ground. Having a good tussle with Callan at the moment. He might just have the points in this second quarter. Callan, good first quarter, long towards centre half forward. Up from behind Scott. Also in there was Bennett. Cullen, there he is, left foot kick around the corner. Goes towards Delaney, who takes the mark in front of Cousins. Handballs to Johnson, all getting caught in the middle of the ground, though. Comes towards the commentary box side, Morley. Leaves Nichols behind and picks it up beautifully. One bounce, two bounces now. He's at half forward. He's being chased by Nichols. Left foot kick. Will it come around enough? I think it might have just missed. It has, and one behind. Yeah, good football, Justin Morley. Deserved a bit of fate on that occasion, that dashing Number 10, Guernsey, very prominent here this afternoon for the Wurrimish Central side. As we see now, the ball brought back into play. Elects to come to the outer side of the ground. As we see now, Cockrell clear the ball there at half back for the uh, Carayo side. But no one home, and it's actually out of bounds on the full end. Edgar takes the free kick for the Central. Oh, well, goes short to Johnson, who drops the easy as a mark. Pressure from Boyle again. Handball towards Baker. He Great pick up on the half volley. Turns around on his left boot. He's got Cullen in the middle. By himself again, left foot kick around the corner towards Davey at centre half forward. Lee just letting him get away on that occasion. He's setting something up now, pretty open forward line. He's going to go long towards Sharky O'Toole. Oh, it could be a goal. That's a great kick. O'Toole's touched it on the line. He could have shepherded, but he didn't. He tried to go over the mark. It was a great kick from Davey. And a rush behind for Carayo. So Carayo go to 4 7 31. And where be our 4 3 27? GDFL second quarter scoreboard, bingo centre scoreboard. Glauca kicks out towards Vilchens, rattled by Robinson again. Edgar's there, off the back of the pack, long towards the wing. Nichols runs back with a fly of the ball and takes a good mark too. Dave Nichols now on the wing in front of us, goes towards Robinson. Vilchens coming from behind, three against one, falls towards uh, Doby. Comes towards Johnson, short little kick, the lead from Scott has to be up. Oh, good mark in front of Bennett. Gets away, shepherded by Morley, short little kick, is good, goes towards Doby. He goes towards Hawks, who's run off the wing at half forward. Mostert comes at him. He goes towards goal. Great kick, Andrew Hawks. Has finished that off beautifully. And Werribee Central's take the lead again. And we heard before the game that this guy can play. And that was a great finish there from Andrew Hawks. Yeah, brought back memories dashing down the centre of the ground and banging one through from about 45 metres. And uh, Werribee Central's 5 3 33. <laughs> Carrillo 4 7 31 on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter of the scoreboard. Uh, we've been travelling 19 minutes of this second term. Back in the centre. We haven't seen him move that fast in his motor car, Ronnie Bray. <laughs> Special comments, Noel Fanning, who's been able to come here because Newtown are playing today. Thanks very much, Noel. That's great. <laughs> Free kick found in the centre of the ground. It's going to go to Carrillo. Ray Robertson will take it. Pretty congested forward line. Vilchens has pushed himself back there. He goes out towards half forward. Pack develops. Nobody can take the mark. Best to recover is O'Toole. Shepherded by Ruck. He can't pick it up. Tripped over. Still got the numbers, though. Back towards Cullen on the wing. Left foot kick in. The lead from Stewart. But cutting in, though, is Lee. And James Lee takes the mark. He handballs towards Galaka in the back pocket. He handballs over the top. It sits and waits there for Hart. Goes along. Left foot kick. Back in towards Adobe. Oh, good mark in front of Aiken. He takes it. And he's just on the wing. Just outside the centre square. Sure, oh, poor kick off the boot. He's going to put hard under pressure. Cousins, Luddick's there also. Gets around Cousins. Handball's inside. Adobe has to sit and wait. He does so now. 
Long kick up towards the leader, Govan. Getting back, McNamara can't take the mark. Miko Tool at the front of the pack has got time to push it out towards the wing. Two on one here, Smith. And also at the back, he did well there, Boyle, because he sat and waited. He got Davey also. He can handball to Boyle, who kept running. He's going to be on 50 now. He's going to be wrapped up by Delaney. Short little kick. Stewart was sitting and waiting in the square for it. Morley comes through, but he doesn't get the ball. Nichols does, turns around, kicks a goal. Yeah, great play. Good anticipation there, Dave Nichols. Just waited for his opportunity, and the young 18-year-old has butted up nicely and bunged through a left-foot kick from only 15 metres out, but well done. We see Jimmy Onturk coming onto the ground for Karai. Darren Bennett coming off. Just uh, coming on towards half-back Jimmy Onturk. So Karaio take the lead again. They're 5 7 37. They lead Werribee Central's 5 3 33 on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. Yeah, what a great contest we're witnessing here this afternoon. Action captured by guest video cameras. And don't forget the Great Western. Monday night for local footy replay. Kicking off at 7.30. Love to see us all there. And we've got presentations for the best players on the ground. And uh, a real good night is enjoyed. And we do sincerely help, uh, thank uh, Rick and Helen Schnabel for providing their lovely amenities at the Great Western Hotel every Monday night supporting GDFL footy. Back in the centre now, Robertson, Vilchens gets the tap towards Scott, who's in the middle for Werribee now. Mick O'Toole again getting a dozen possessions in the middle. Out towards Davey, who leads Lee. A bit loose there, James Lee, at centre-half back on Davey. He's running him right at the moment. He goes around towards the leader, Stewart. He goes up. Can't take the mark. Good roving again from Nichols. Good smother, though, by Galaka in the back pocket. He goes out towards the half-back position for Werribee Central. So it's going to beat Ashley Davey off. And coming off is Govan. And coming on for the... Werribee Central side is Adrian Bernardo. Just getting back to the Great Western, uh, we must thank too also uh, the uh, Bannockburn Sporting Trophies for providing a lovely award that we present each week at the Western. Well, we've just let you watch that there, and that is sensational play. The tap from Robertson out to Mick O'Toole, and a lead from Phil Ball was great play. And Phil Ball has taken the mark. He's going to be kicking from about 40 metres out directly in front. And hopefully we'll be able to put Cryo's sixth goal on the scoreboard. But great play from Robertson and O'Toole to set the goal up for the Devils. He comes in now. Right foot kick. He might have just missed it to the far side. He has done so. And one behind to Phil Ball. That's his second behind for the day. And Cryo going to 5-8-38. They lead Werribee Central's 5-3-33. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Yes, time check shows in this second term. We've been travelling about 27 and a half minutes of this second quarter and uh, have Carayo kicked themselves out of it, Jason Doherty? Well, they've done exactly the same as Werribee did in the first quarter. A pretty tight tussle for the first half here at Shell Reserve and only one point in it at quarter time and Carayo lead by five points at the moment. Galau got a kick in from fullback as he's done so all day. Poor kick though. Looking for Vilchens on the lead but Davey chopped it off and has been influential at centre half forward in this in his second quarter, Ashley Davey comes in now, called to play on, goes long. Oh, O'Toole has the sit, goes up, and it was always going to take the mark. Had his name written on it. Sharky had the ride, got the sit, and took a great mark. Yes, great grab, but uh, the Shark hasn't lost the ability that he had, but he's gained, I'd suggest, a couple of pounds over the pre-season. He's been to the Ron Brain Summer School, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> pre-season summer school. Well, he's only about 10 metres out from goal. He tries the banana bender. What's he done? He's bent it right through for a point. Missed it to the, f to the near side here. Just trying to be a little bit special there. O'Toole couldn't quite get the goal. So, Karai at 5-9-39. They lead Werribee Central's 5-3-33. A boy, six points. Two goals, four off the boot of Mark O'Toole here this afternoon. So... A number of possessions there for O'Toole. Just can't quite finish it off in front of goal. Galaka comes to the commentary box side. Poor kick because I think he was looking for Vilchens, but he's able to get there, the big man, and handball to the running Delaney at half back. They've got the numbers here, though. Edgar sits and waits as the pivot, gives it back to Delaney. He takes a bounce on the wing. Pursued by Cousins. Left foot kick. Luddick leads. Is held onto by Mostert. Gets around him. Oh, the camera work there from Brett Rovere. I can't quite see it. Now I have. Mostert's got it back. Great work. I'm putting him under pressure there, the technical producer. Comes back, though, to Dobie. Where are the numbers? Handball to Johnson. Turns around. Can he finish it off with a goal? No, he can't. So, Scotty Johnson, one behind. And good build-up there from Central through the middle of the ground. And uh, Mostert doing a good job on Luddick. He hasn't done a lot today. No, been very quiet so far at... Uh He's one of the better players for the Cryo's side. Five points of difference, Cryo 5-9, Werribee 5-4. The leader of the band to kick out from fullback. Goes out towards Cullen, who's had a great first half. 
And he marks it half back in front of Scott. Cullen now, left foot kick into the centre of the ground. The lead, Davey in front, couldn't take the ball. Well knocked away there uh, by his opponent as a nice left foot chip by Hawks finds uh, Scotty Johnson at centre wing. He plays on now, the lead. Oh, oh but chipping mark. in front. Good work there from the Mozzie. Uh, and uh, Mustard's now an opportunity to drive Correo out of defence. He's in the back pocket now, looking for a lead. He still comes commentary box side. On Turks there. Nichols also in front though. The mark has to be paid to Greg Hart. And it is. So Greg Hart to take the kick now. To find somebody short. Scott has got away there. And has taken the mark. Gets away quickly from Mick O'Toole. Goes along with the right boot. Back towards Bernardo. Oh, and also running back was Doby. Took the mark. And will be able to turn around in the goal square. And hopefully, for Werribee's sake, kick the goal and put them back in front. Yes, uh some good individual performances coming into play now. Johnson, Hawks and Scott. Very busy this term as we see now that the young man himself in uh, the 26 Guernsey. And uh, yes, just trying to pick it up. Richie, Richie Doby. Doby, of course it is. Playing at centre half four this afternoon. And uh, that will put where we back in front. There's 6 4 40, Corio 5 9 39, a point in it as it was at quarter time, with Cryo leading at that stage. But Werribee now in front by a point. 6 4 40, Cryo 5 9 39, Judy FL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. So uh, the only multiple goal kicker on the ground, Marco Tull, as we said, he has two goals late in this second quarter now, close to half time. Point the difference back in the centre. Robinson and Vilchens. Robinson, ruck done change in this first half. Great play to Vilchens. Two Hawks in the middle of the ground. Luddick has to run back with the flight of the ball. Oh, that's a great mark. Yes, I, I thought he had no hope at all there. He was running with his back to the ball. At the last minute, lunged himself forward. Great grab. He's gone very wide, though, to half forward. Looks for Scott. Over the top he goes. Draws his opponent. Good football and allows Greg Hart now to steady from 40 metres. He's goal. Left foot kick. I think you'll find he's popped it through. What a great goal. Great play from Greg Hart. And great play from Luddick, who's just starting to get in the play the last five or six minutes. Good play from him, and also Andrew Scott, who's been a pretty good player for the first half for Werribee Centrals. So they go further in front there, 7 4 46. And Cryo are 5 9 39. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Yeah, don't forget, give them a call on 2 and 8 4 8 4 if you want to go out and win some money. Eno O'Donnell, the manager out of GDFL Bingo Centre, White Eagle House, Felmuggers Road, Breakwater, would only be too happy to hear from you so you could book your seat and tickets at GDFL. Bingo centre. Back in the centre now. Could be the last bounce of this first half. Robertson and Vilchens. Robertson has to sit and wait. Gets the tap down. Vilchens plucks it out of the ruck. Gets a right foot kick long towards Luddick. Diving slips catch. Can't take it. Spice is there. Gets wrapped up by Cockrell. Luddick's there also. Over the top. Good bump by on Turk. But forgot the ball. Where are we still the numbers? Johnson or oh, going to put Edgar under pressure. Cousins is there. He's got help in Mick O'Toole. He traps the ball. Gets tackled. Cockrell. Pack develops the centre half. Back umpire will have to come in now and bounce the ball. Good pressure where he centrals forwards, keeping it in there because Correa looked like getting it out. And the ball now will be bounced down at centre half forward where he centrals into attack. Bilchins and Robertson to do the ruck work at centre half forward. Seven points of difference, close to half time. Robertson will get the sit. He gets it towards O'Toole. Cullen's there also. Edgar at the back. Comes up towards the centre of the ground. Paul Smith tries to tap it on. Can't take it with him. Quick kick by Gareth Buck towards half forward on Turk. Sits and waits. Can't take it with him. Collinson overruns the ball. Also in there, Cullen. And another bounce at centre half forward for the Centrals. A little bit of a fracker behind play. And uh, Darren Shelley and uh, Richard Davey explain, ex uh, exchanging a couple of uh, pushes and shoves. And uh, the blood rule has come into play here. The eggshell's been broken. Yes, the the eggshell has been broken and has got uh, a big cut across the right eye and it's coming from the ground. So we just see Shelley going off the ground there. Pretty deep cut above his right eye. So we're just waiting for the blood rule. So Darren Bennett comes back on for Shelley. The umpire will wait to, for him to take up his position before he bounces the ball down at centre half forward. So... Bounce down now. Vilchens to do the ruck work against Robertson. Vilchens gets a thump to it. Cousins gets one high as he gets his kick away. 
Gets it towards the centre. Smith overruns it. Also Buck. Dave Nichols back there. Morley, who's done a good job at half back, gets away now. Handball back towards Buck, who has to run to back towards Cryo's goal. Who pressured, good pressure too from Smith, but he's going to get a push in the back and take the free kick at centre half back for Centrals. Very fortunate it was there, and a little bit of undisciplined play there on that occasion. Ashley Davey mm. allows Wirriman out to get possession, but the kick from Buck is an absolute shocker. And he's kicked it straight out of bounds here, right in front of the commentary position at half forward. Karaya into attack. Boundary throw in now. Robertson in front, can tap it down towards Cullen. He sits and waits, gives it to O'Toole. Could have handballed it Boyle, but goes further afield to McNamara. The leader of the band plays on quickly, puts Boyle under pressure, puts Cousins under pressure also. Mick O'Toole at the back of the pack, on hands and knees, tries to little farm out a little handball to Cousins. But uh, a, band, a ball up. Just on the point of the square at half forward for Carrillo. Now just about so on time yeah. in the second quarter. Seven points. Werribee Central's favour in a GDFL round one match of the day. Bounced down. It's at a half forward. Sees the loose ball now. Picked up by Davey. Did he have the ball? No, he didn't. Plays allowed to continue. Chippy in now was Collinson. His little chip uh, to Scott was OK. And he's got those hand pass well intercepted. As a great tackle was applied there by... The Werribee Central's fullback in Greg Membry, who's having on the ball at the moment, I'd suggest, gets the free kick at centre half back. Good kick to Scott on the wing, takes the mark in front of it, in front of Dave Cousins. Late stage of the second quarter, he goes long. The lead from Edgar, it's over his head. Darren Bennett gets back there in defence, can tap it out towards the boundary line. Scotty Johnson keeps it in, handballs, tries to towards Adrian Bernardo, but chopped off well there by Darren Aiken and a boundary thrown at half forward for the Centrals. And hope you're enjoying the kick-by-kick kick description here on 94.9 FM. Guest FM is country footy. Ball half forward now. Where is Central's into attack? Robinson gets it down to O'Toole, who's wrapped up. Play on the call. Pack develops over the top now. And the umpire will come in and ball it up at half forward. And there is the siren for half time here at Shell Reserve with Werribee Central's seven goals for 46. They kicked four goals, three in that quarter. And Carrillo are 5 9 39, and they kick two goals seven. So they'll be ruining their opportunities with the breeze there. The goal kickers for Werribee Centrals, they're all singles Brenton Vilchens, Andrew Scott, Andrew Hawks, Rick Govan, Brad Spicer, Richard Doby, and Greg Hart. And for the Devils, two to Marco Tool and singles to Dave Nichols, Paul Baker, and Ashley Davey. So seven points of difference at half time. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard there. And you can see. Our illustrious half part owner, Noel Fanning, just sitting there enjoying the Devil's Playground as it is. It's clouding over a bit though here at Cry at the moment. But seven points of difference at a half time. We'll be back with the second half after this.